Hi everybody, it's Caitlin here again from Crystal Cove Conservancy. Last session, your research teams developed a hypothesis for our three research questions. And then you took some time to think about how to design our experiment. Our next step is to figure out how to collect the data that we need to test our hypotheses. Once we collect that data, we'll be able to see if our hypotheses were supported and determine the answer to our research questions. Collecting evidence to answer our first two research questions about which leaf litter type breaks down the quickest and how the plant types impact de decomposition rates, it's pretty simple. So to test our hypothesis, we'll need to see how much mass our bags of leaf litter are losing over time. That's fairly straightforward to do. Before we put the litter bags out at our research site, Kristen used a calibrated scale in her lab to weigh them. And when you visit us at the research site, you'll help us weigh them again. And you'll be able to use their initial weight and their final weight to calculate how much mass they have lost over time. Measuring soil moisture is a little bit harder. Scientists use sensors called soil moisture meters to measure how much water is in the soil. University grade soil moisture meters can be really expensive, but you can use a single board computer called a micro bit to build and code your own soil moisture meter. We're going to spend the next few sessions building and coding our own soil moisture meter using a micro bit computer and a few other simple supplies. Even if you don't have a micro bit of your own or in your classroom, you'll still be able to use an online website to practice coding one. Before we think about coding though, we need to think through how we would go about building and designing this electronic sensor like a soil moisture meter. That means thinking about circuits, which is what you will explore today. As you make your way through this session, you will be exploring building and testing virtual circuits. Then you and your research group will work together to come up with a plan to build your own soil moisture meter. This will prepare you for future sessions where you'll learn how to write code so that it can measure the amount of moisture in the soil and help us to test our hypothesis. We're really excited to see your plan for your soil moisture meter and thank you again for helping us through Project Crystal Code.